Hey guys, Aeronius here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And in today's video, of course, Live Arena is not open right now. I spent a good amount of time with some family today on Saturday. It is late, late in the evening. It's about 10.30 at night for me. Hopefully you guys are having a great night or a great day wherever you are in the world. And uh, hopefully you're having a great weekend. So anyways, I'm going to be trying to build a champion. Now I did have about 10 million, 11 million silver. I spent it all. And of course, it's during the Jetney Fusion or Jetney Fragment event, whatever you want to call it. I call it a Jetney Fragment Fusion. That's just what I like to call it. So, you know, you can roast me in the comments if you like. I don't really care. Anyways, yeah, so we did the Artifact Enhancement event. No big deal. I'm almost done with it, actually, in the first day, okay? Because I had close to 12 million silver that I spent on the Artifact Enhancement event. And I just got really good RNG. Now, what I typically do... For me, I love to get my gear prepped and ready to go. So personally, I love to get gear to level 15 before the Artifact Enhancement event, before the fusion even starts. So I have a ton of champions that are upgraded with gear to level 15. So for example, my Alika, I was able to upgrade all of her gear here to 16. And I was also able to upgrade the crit damage amulet to 16. So that upgraded her skills a little bit more. So now her stats right now, 165 crit damage, not a lot, not a lot to shake a stick at there, but it's okay. And then also I was able to upgrade my Samsung as well. I upgraded all of his gear. I had like five pieces here to upgrade. And then I upgraded all of his art uh, accessories as well. So that's pretty huge. So he's now at 68,000, almost let's call it 69,000 HP, 2,400 defense, 232 speed, 100% crit rate, 185 crit damage, which is not a lot. And then 244 accuracy. I wanted a little bit of accuracy. I haven't completed his masteries yet, but I want to put him in damage. And of course, I want to put him in most likely. I think I'm going to put him on the defense tree, which is already there. But on the defense tree, I want to go with retribution and I want to go with deterrence because he has a pretty solid A1. He has an A1 that is a stun. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 35% chance of placing a stun for one turn. And it can be booked out to a 45% chance, which is not bad. So I'm definitely going to work on him a little bit. But the champion that I want to upgrade today, I've got two different champions in mind. And it's going to be either Bivald, who I just got a five-star awakening on him because I pulled an Eternal Soul Stone on my last video. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. I pulled Sacred Shards and I pulled the Bivald uh, Eternal Soul Stone, or Bivald from the Eternal Soul Stone, that is. So I was able to get him in Brimstone and he's got the additional accuracy now. One more level and he'll be able to place a guarantee smite that can't be removed plus 10 speed, which is pretty fantastic. And I do currently have him in not the greatest build, but I'm thinking of building him for Hydra. Now, the other person that I want to build as well or rebuild that is, is going to be Martyr. So this Martyr... I originally built her for like really slow for a specific build for clam boss, but then I kind of took off gear and I, I re-geared her and now her, her gear is not that great. Her gearing in general, she's not that great. So I do want to try her out in live arena and regular arena. And so the gear sets that I could potentially utilize, it could be something like, I mean, I could try to do stone skin. I don't know how good I'm going to get her in stone skin. I could try to go just full damage on her with no, like, don't even use accuracy on her. So she's just straight up damage. And, uh, but the cool thing is she does have this decreased attack and provoke on her. So I kind of don't want to just forego any of it. My issue is there's a lot of champions in tag team arena, in arena and in live arena right now who have polymorph. So that's a big issue. I hate polymorph. And if she has a lot of accuracy and she's going after those champions and retaliating with her counterattack ability because this is the ability that i really want to use her for increased defense and and the counterattacks is pretty awesome on a three turn cooldown so i want to use her for this and she hits pretty hard if i just build her with full out nuke damage this ability hits pretty hard and this ability is really cool and she also hits really hard on the a1 so i think i'm going to build her with like pretty much zero damage now i do have two martyrs so one of my martyrs isn't fully built while this one is fully built. Of course, I'm going to try to rebuild her. I'm going to put her in damage. This is just all random gear, 
perception and crit rate to get her to 100 crit rate she has 4500 defense 246 uh, accuracy anyways yeah so i want to get her with some damage i want to get her with speed i don't have any books in her so of course there's not more additional damage from that but again her a1 hits pretty hard i would love to put her in savage but really fast or lethal with really fast set and or i could potentially put her in a stone skin or i could even put her in a protection set because at the end of the day the protection probably won't work because i don't have enough silver to upgrade the protection set and i don't have many of my champions i think i maybe have one champion in protection maybe not at all i don't use protection set all that often so i only keep good good pieces so speed of course for the boots that's what i'm going to keep this isn't a great piece but it's okay so let me move myself out of the way a little bit make myself a little bit smaller here so you can see better lethal of course i have a good amount of lethal pieces i could potentially put her in immunity too i'm not sure yet i'm not quite sure yet but i need her to go as fast as possible because i want her to be able to take a turn place the decreased defense or increased defense place the counter attack on all allies allow ourselves to take turns and people are going to be pleasantly surprised when i go into tag team arena and i can utilize her because she's actually pretty strong she's a pretty strong champion anyways i'll be right back i'm going to pull up hell hades optimizer see what we can get her in for a build all right so i've got hell hades optimizer pulled up shout out to hell hades for bringing in this awesome optimizer here uh, let me move myself out of the way on the right side here on the screen and uh, that way it looks like i'm actually looking over here so in regards to the optimizer i do want to select i want her to be as fast as possible i would love her to be in stone skin two piece if possible because people are going to be super annoyed if it's in if she's in stone skin placing those counter attacks i kind of want to try her out in stone skin slow so she can just place that but at the same time it's going to be hard to go up against people that can cleanse hmm it's a tough decision it's a tough decision here but let me try out stone skin first let's see if we can do speed I don't really care about speed then if it's stone skin i don't really care about speed uh crit rate of course we want 100 percent crit damage i mean as much as we can get i guess we can go for like 230 accuracy just so we can place it on damage dealers and that's about it like a decreased defense on a damage dealer with the a1 or provoke i don't want to place you know a provoke on anybody with uh that stupid polymorph right defense obviously we want like 4,000. All right. So after kind of thinking about this for a little bit, I've decided that I'm going to try to go for like a stone skin team over time. And with martyr being the fastest one to place it, and it's going to be on a one turn stone skin because I don't have the best stone skin gear right now. So what I'm going to do, so I need to make sure I put a four count for stone skin on the optimizer to make sure it's a one turn stone skin on this champion. So for stats, I'm going to look for a minimum of 3,500 defense. I'm looking for, I, I'm hoping for 200 speed, 100% uh, crit rate, 200 crit damage. I got accuracy on her 200. So we can hopefully place it on damage dealers, the decreased defense or provokes. Maybe I can go a little bit more, but the optimizer will figure it out on its own, I'm pretty sure. And then we're going to soft cap the speed and defense. And let's see what we can find. Hopefully we can find something good here. Actually, we got quite a few builds. I was surprised. 201 speed. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. 230 resistance and 230 accuracy. Nice. All right, we're going to try out this build. She's at 201 speed, which is kind of slow. I will be honest. It's pretty slow. Uh, 3,700 defense. Maybe I can build her even slower. Maybe I can build her slower and get more damage. And then my other champions in stone skin would be like 190 speed, 180 or 185 or really close to that next champion speed. So they're a good speed tune. So why don't I do that instead? Let me, uh, I mean, 200 speed is not bad. Let's try for 190 and see if we can get more damage. All right, let's see what we can do here this time. All right, so defense, a little bit better with 190 speed. Still 205 crit damage, 263 accuracy, 4,400 defense, and that's at 190 speed. So that's not terrible. 
Of course, I would have to upgrade these boots right here. But, uh, yeah. Triple crit rate on the boots, though. And it's on uh, Lorn the Cutter champion. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull all this gear, and I'll bring you right back to when I complete uh, re-gearing my martyr. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back here with the build. I did have to remove some gear from a couple of champions, or at least one champion, uh, Lorn the Cutter. And then also, I don't have this gear fully maxed out. So the thing with Hell Hades Optimizer is that the optimizer pulls gear that's like level 12. You can set the preference of what gear you want it to pull. And I didn't set the preference at that time. So the gear was, a lot of it was level 12. And then another piece here was only, I didn't pull it off my Sir Nicholas. So I just pulled a new amulet that had crit damage on it. And uh, it rolled the first roll into accuracy. I did spend all of my resources when it comes to silver. So... Right now, I have my Martyr currently sitting at 4,700 defense, okay, 180 speed, 100% crit rate, 183% crit damage. Now, of course, that is going to get a lot higher, and it's going to get closer to 200 or 205, I believe it was, at the end. So this will get higher once I max it out. So I'll get 22 more uh, crit damage. So in regards to crit damage, it'll go to... From 183, 22 more crit damage is going to bring us to 205 crit damage in the end. And then for speed, because the boot is level 15, not 16, our speed will go to 190 speed in the end. And then, of course, we'll get more defense from here. We can get more speed from here if we want to glyph these pieces as well in the future. I do have a mythical piece here and a mythical piece here as well. Now, I don't have crit rate or crit damage, but eventually when I ascend these pieces as well, it's going to be a lot better for this champion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try her out just a little bit for you guys today. And uh, thank you guys for staying with me if you stayed with me this long already. Let me go ahead and just pop in some food really quickly here. All right, so let's go ahead and try her out. I hope that she does well. Uh, we're going to find out right now. Oh, I should probably pop these soul stones for you too. Let's do that as well. Let's pop these soul stones. Let's get them out of the way. Can we get something crazy? Can we get a legendary? Probably not, but... Three-star flinger, that's garbage. Oh, we don't even have any silver. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I do have a bunch of stockpiled gems. I could end up just farming a little bit more. But um, yeah, I can't pull the rest of the soul stones. I'm not going to do it right now. Let's just get right into let's get right into tag team here. I would have loved to bring her into live arena, but I guess we're just going to go right into tag team. Of course, I'm working on my mission to get into gold one for tag team. So martyr, let's see how she does. Um, these teams are very strong at this point, trying to get into gold. I've been popping in and out of the green. And of course, my defense has just not been holding up that great. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing the best on defense. If I have a better defense, it will be a lot better for me. But um, yeah, we'll see what we could do. Let's go ahead and do one refresh here. And let's see what we can fight. So I'm at 1299. I think one win will probably get me in the green. But we'll see what we can do. Uh... Who can we fight? 1264. I also look at like how much battle points I'm going to get from each one too. These one that have 12 next to them. Now this guy is really high up in the rankings. So he has a really good offense team as well that he uses. Plus his Arbiter is probably faster than me. He's got Hegemon. He's got Kaimar. He's got Leorius. He's got ridiculous champions. So I'd be concerned facing this guy. I'd be very concerned facing this guy. But you lose less points per loss as compared to going up against the ones that are like nine points per victory. So, uh, this guy's got unkillable as well. So speed into unkillable, which really stinks. So, I mean, doesn't help us. Doesn't help us at all. I guess the one thing that I could try is I could throw her in. I think she has a defense in all battles, which is nice too. And then maybe I could throw in Duchess here. This is my shield bolster Duchess. She's going to try to place decreased defense and weaken. And then I can also put a cleanse here. All right. Or yeah, let's do that. Let's do a cleanser right here. I can also do speed instead, but I think I want more defense on my champions to take a hit. And then I can also do... So she's going to be my main damage. 
right? She doesn't have crazy damage built, but she's going to be my main damage. And there's no polymorph here, so I should be fine against this first team, I think. And then maybe I go with Uko. So I do have Uko here. Now, I will say it's kind of taking out all of my champions to be able to use against the other two teams that are really good. So Uko is really good, right? But I could try to go up against this team. Maybe I can use Pytheon and Ali with additional resistance. I could go with Mithrala. Right? Because my Pytheon's not going to get feared. He does have... What's his name? Ultimate Death Knight. Maybe I could go with... Duchess. Uh, I mean, he's good, but... He does have Duchess as well with Ultimate Death Knight, so I can't, like, single target kill him. I would have to use, like, Foley. I guess Foley could do well. And then the last team, I mean, the last team I kind of want to use, Uko. Maybe I could use Uko in the last team and put him, what's his name, Elagaius. He's also in a stun set. 234 speed, 3,000 defense, 400 accuracy. And these guys probably aren't going to have crazy accuracy, I feel like. So I'll try that out. And then for this last team, I feel like this team will be okay. But I wish I had a Gala Longbraids, man, or a Rodos. I really wish I had either one of those champions. I could also go with potentially Ronda against this team. But... Mm, Maybe I go with speed instead. I'm going to go with speed lead instead. Because I could potentially take a turn before him. And then nuke with my Foley. But I know that Ultimate Death Knight's going to be in a stone skin. And then this team here, I definitely want to keep Uko in. Have my speed here. They're both going to cleanse. So I can't use a bomb champion. Because they're both going to cleanse. Maybe I can put Foley here instead. Put my bomb champion up here. I could do that. I feel like that would be okay. And then here. I could potentially go with. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep Foley here. And then for damage. Leo's kind of annoying. I'll be honest with you. Leo's wicked annoying. He does have a revive with Pytheon. Pytheon's typically put in stone skin. So that's a problem. And then he has a cleanse here. Mithrala is usually put in stone skin as well or immunity. Unless I'm lucky. But the biggest threat here is going to be um, this guy right here, Leorius. If he takes a turn, then I'm kind of SOL. So maybe what I can do... She's going to get slept. We're pretty much all going to get slept. That's the issue. The only person that's going to wake up is him. And then by the time we... Ah, man, that's going to be difficult. The last team is going to be really difficult. This team, I feel like we can win. This team, I I don't know if we're going to win because we could just get nuked down. Uh, so that could be a problem too. We'll see though. Let's try it out. We're going to try it. We're going to try it out. We're going to see if we can beat them. Definitely a very, very strong opponent. It's the strongest one um, on the list, I'd say. Boom, boom. All right, so we didn't quite die, so we can cleanse, so that's helpful. And we can try to go ahead and remove buffs. I could try this now, or I could wait. Hmm. Because they have so many buffs at this point. Now, I will say, though, my Duchess is almost dead. And I do need to revive my Duchess. That's going to be a problem. Can I get lucky and remove the block debuffs buff? So that's my problem right now is he only removes a chance to remove two random buffs. Also a 75% chance of decreasing all enemies turn meter by 20%. Decreases turn meters by further 10% for each remove buff. Now I don't have him fully booked I don't think. So once I fully book him he'll be a little bit stronger. But let's see what we can do. Ah, I just don't know if I want to do this right now. I could also block skills. I can put a target skills on cooldown. And in this case, it would probably be, it would probably end up being Trunda. I could just do that first. How did she resist? F Are you kidding me? That's a, like a 3% chance to resist. 
There's no way. That's ridiculous. He has 400 accuracy. Nobody puts their Trunda with 400 uh, resistance. There's no way. That's ridiculous. I hate the 3% chance. And you just saw that his ability Gaius, it ended up working. Um, his passive ability where he heals up by 30% if he's about to take an incoming hit that kills him. So that was kind of cool. All right, now we can do this. She's not resisting. How is she resist? Did this person seriously put their Trunda in like 400, 500 resistance? What the heck? I've never seen that before. A Trunda with high resistance. That is insane. That is really, really weird. Have you guys ever seen a Trunda with over 400 resistance? Leave it in the comments down below. But I've never seen... This is the first time I've ever seen this. That's wild. I do have a decreased defense on ourselves here, which kind of stinks. Let's see how much damage we can do. We got a decreased defense, though. We do have an increased defense, so it kind of neutralizes it and uh, just makes her on a base level with 4,700 defense. I have low crit damage, by the way. 13,000. Not terrible, but not great. Uh, we did get the stun as well. Let's go ahead and try to take her out. She's annoying. Let's go ahead and cleanse. All right, counterattack here again. The counterattacks are what's amazing, right? I actually like Elagaius. I know people hate him, but I kind of like him. Let's go ahead and take him out. And then we're good to go. That's it, man. That's all she wrote. We did it. Elagaius in a stun set. The counterattacks definitely helped us. Of course, Duchess helped us a lot too. But her in a stone skin, I feel like, is very beneficial. Martyr in a stone skin. Okay. That actually worked out the way I wanted it to. Double resist. Bombs. Okay, that's nice. They don't have a cleanser. So we should be able to beat this team. Let's go ahead and do this. So we're taking a turn. Let's just go ahead and... Oh, we didn't actually get the bombs to one turn. That sucks. All right, that, that really stinks. He's going to kill himself. Nope, he didn't quite kill himself either. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to A1 for now. Come on. Bombs went off there, but they still have the block debuff buff. Just going to A1. Fine. Do this. Cleanse. And I don't need to cleanse again. Okay. Ooh, big damage. He's going to end up dying. Let's see if we can place some bombs here. Boom. And let's get him to a one-turn cooldown. There we go. He's dead now. Go ahead and cleanse. Put the strength in. Attack Duchess. She's going to do a revive. All right. So that's Duchess's revives. Now it's off cooldown for, I think it's three or four turns. Four turns. So we should be good now. All right, there's a stone skin, so he's going to die with the one bomb. Because uh, with stone skin, or not stone skin, petrification, uh, you die pretty much instantly. Almost as if you have stone skin on with bombs, because bombs do additional damage to stone skin and petrification. So he's down. I'm going to just call it he's down. And there's the counterattack. That's nice. Let's go ahead and do this. Boom, he's dead. Go ahead and cleanse again. Ah, stupid duchess. Blocking those debuffs. That's kind of annoying. We gotta take out Duchess. Maybe we wait till she does a revive. Well, we kind of had to wait, but let's go ahead and place more bombs. Now they're on everybody. Boom. One turn cooldown across the board. Now we're good to go. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so far, so good. So far, so good. And place some poisons for a little bit extra damage. She didn't. Ah, oh, she didn't die. But we're good. I think we're good. She'll die next turn anyways. Yep, she's dead. All right, two wins. So we got a win there. We ended up winning, which is huge. But I'm really excited and I'm happy about Martyr's build right now. Let me know what you guys think of Martyr's build in the comments down below. Stone skin obviously is pretty OP. And oh, we got a stun on the on the Kaimar. That is lucky, man. I don't know if I want to attack, but like I said, Stone Skin's pretty OP. I'm probably going to put Polymorph on her to be toxic like every other player out there, right? 
And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just keep working on my martyr. And then she's going to be solely for live arena and arena and tag team arena. So I could go with a nuke here, but they are going to cleanse. I'm just going to go with the A1 for now. And of course, Leo. Super annoying. Let's go ahead and do this. And let's go ahead and kill Leo. Let's go. Come on. Boom. Two people dead. Let's go. Okay, that worked out perfectly. We got three wins. We got ourselves three wins, guys. That is 12 points per win, which means we're going to get 36 points in total here. That was huge. That was massive. All right. And that was just one battle. And of course, one battle took about eight minutes almost. It's going to be about seven minutes and 15, seven minutes, maybe seven minutes, and 15 seconds here. Maybe less. Come on, let's do some damage here. All right, 36 points right there. It was a 16-minute battle in total, actually. So, yeah, we got all three wins. My team held up a lot better than I expected. 358k team power. I have 272k team power on the left side. 334 team power. I have 307. 290 team power, and I have 260. So, overall, the damage... Uh, Elagaius actually did okay damage. 37k higher than uh, than her, but he's not a damage dealer. 97,000 from Martyr. Considering that Martyr is not that strong, you know, you don't need to build your team like crazy strong. If you can get them to just survive, there are some, there was ways to beat these teams. Like this team right here is just fast. They're not tanky. So I don't need to bring in a ton of speed and a ton of uh, damage because they're going to die over time. And that's what I was relying on here. And then of course, Elagaius has that really cool passive, which if he's about to get killed, he just comes back to life. And he has that cool ability where he can put the skills on cooldown. But again, I've never seen somebody put Trunda in over 400 resistance. That's just ridiculous. Now, if they actually put her in damage, we probably could have died. We probably would have died, but they, she wasn't in full damage. She probably had like 200 to 230 crit damage. And then super high resistance because she's pairing him with uh, this man eater to hopefully not get stripped of the buffs, I'm assuming. But that just doesn't make sense to me. I would just build her with full out damage. Second team, of course, we're just trying to be tanky. We wanted a couple revivers and uh, they're not super tanky themselves other than Duchess and Ultimate Death Knight. That's why I brought in the bombs. And then for the last team, well, they had Kaimar. That's why I put Foley because Foley has a passive. If Kaimar took a turn, he would sleep us. But then Foley would wake up and nuke. And then I probably would have potentially gotten a kill and then blocked a revive. However, because we stunned with our Uko in the stun set, uh, Kaimar slept or stunned. And then we were able to take a turn, nuke, and then kill off with Foley. So that was actually super huge. And like I said, I'm already back in the green again. But like I was saying before, the defense is the issue, right? So I'm winning, but I'm losing a lot more. So like... This is it. One victory, loss, loss. Victory, loss, 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 loss. Five losses in a row. And then victory here from King Jack, Jack Ace. And then Crazy Legs over here killed me in 25 minutes ago. But like I said, it's going to be tough. It's going to be challenging to pop myself in there. I'm going to have to stay up until 2 a.m. just to be able to do this. And uh, I'm dreading it. I don't really want to, but I'm just going to have to stay up till 2 a.m and and just beat it tomorrow because i have to stay up till 2 a.m in the morning into monday morning which is before work and i get up really early for work at about 5 a.m so i'm gonna get no sleep and i don't like that i don't like that i get no sleep before work and have to go in for an 8 to 10 hour day but like i said that's gonna be the team now martyrs looking pretty good let me go into arena here and maybe i can showcase martyr a little bit more for you i'll do a one refresh i am in gold five but it's not nothing crazy. This was just a funky team I used against a more to macabre team. I got uh, ally attack here with my Bushi, and I was just picking them off one by one. Oh. We got increased defense. Should be helpful. They're probably gonna take a turn before us, but who knows? Maybe they'll. Maybe we'll take a turn first. But like I said, I'm kind of prioritizing that. Okay, we took a turn first with our Uko. We might stun them. Two stuns off the off the bat. Oh, it's already over. <laughs> You know what? I'm just going to do A1. Let's keep him alive. Oh, let me move myself out of the way. I'm kind of in the way of everybody here. My bad. So, uh, let's go ahead and just do this. Right? 
let's do this and let's go ahead and auto actually I'm not gonna auto because my rat king is gonna try to do his big ability so I'm just gonna a1 boom see that a1 he's just gonna keep a one which is what's crazy and keep on placing bombs which is super annoying for them right and then I can just do counterattacks with him potentially too if people were actually attacking him but they couldn't because they had to aim on Duchess let's see what you could do for damage with increased defense there's no decreased defense or weaken but I don't really think she needs that unless you're trying to you know do as much damage as possible with her and foregoing any of the counterattacks really and just not worrying about it so 23,000 damage is not terrible but uh, again I don't have her in the best gear ever but the the point of this is that it's survivability it's she's bringing the increased defense, bringing the counterattack, so everybody else can take turns on your team, and it makes it really annoying for the enemy team. So there you go. There's the win, 16k damage there. But yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Again, it would be really good against this team, right? Pytheon's going to cleanse, though, and they may take a turn first. So what I could do is I could actually end up putting in something different, right? There we go. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what can happen here. Okay. Let's go ahead and speed ourselves up. We could just nuke them down to the ground, honestly. I, I my skull crown's that strong. But I'm not gonna do that. We wanna showcase we wanna showcase this right here. Let's go ahead and full auto. Okay, I want I want that Trunda to take a turn. Boom boom. Look at all the counterattacks. Watch this with Skull Crown. Boom. Look at that. Boom. That's crazy. And that's why it's so cool. Because she places the counterattacks, the increased defense, which makes you guys more tanky, allows you to go in and put like a skull crown or someone with a strong A1. Even if you had like Eryx, for example, you can go with Eryx with the strong A1 ability. That's who I'm considering building next with her. And put Eryx in a stone skin too on a one turn stone skin with high damage. And she would be pretty wild as well. Now, I do have her in Savage right now, but it's not good. It's not very good. And it's not maxed out. I would have to get better Savage than this with 100% crit rate, good crit damage. Uh, but this gear is garbage. So I need to definitely put her in some better gear. I could potentially put her in a protection set too. That would be insane. Because then she also places a counterattack. It would just be like the ultimate counterattack team, right? And fills the champion by 5% each time an ally inflicts a critical hit. Heals the champion by 5% of their max HP each time an enemy inflicts a critical hit. She is wild, okay? No champion lore. I'd be interested in reading her lore. She's pretty sick. But like I said, there's so many different options and things you can do with this build. Obviously, you can also build her crazy fast and just have her go first. Like I said, you, I can build her with more damage as time goes on. I want to put books into her. I want to work on her blessing because I want to put her in good blessings as well. Again, I'll show you her stats again one more time. Her gear is not fully maxed out. She is fully mastered. I put her in War Master, but I may end up changing her and putting her in Helm Smasher instead or Flawless Execution. But I do want her to be in those counterattack masteries with higher defense. Uh, and just go counterattack all the way. And then when it comes to this gear right here, I definitely want to put her in revenge or reaction. And or reaction. So the reaction piece, this is an attack reaction, which really stinks. I don't really have much reaction on my account because we're in a tier one, tier two for a clan. We were in tier two and then we got knocked back. But again, we just don't get good reaction gear because we're not in a really, really strong clan here. This is my clan. It's not the strongest clan out there. I do have two spots, by the way, if anybody's interested. But I'll leave it in the comments down below. Join the Discord in the description below. We'd love to have you on the team. But yeah, there's my champion there. Hope you guys like the showcase. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you on a video soon. Peace.